Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of Automation Hub. In the previous three episodes, we have seen how to submit and create an idea. Then we have seen how to create a process design document using task capture. And then we have gone ahead and in the previous video, we have completed the assessment. Now in this video, we are going to go ahead with the fourth step in the Automation Hub, where right now we're into awaiting qualification step. So we will be going ahead and completing a cost benefit analysis which is a CBA analysis in Automation Hub. Today I have with me Shripath. So let's get started. Over to you, Shripath. Thanks, Nisar. So uh, we updated the details uh, during the launch assessment, and uh, this is where we need to now go ahead and approve. Okay. Now, once it is approved, all right, we would now get an access to update cost benefit analysis. Okay, now this is how our last assessment was looking like. Okay, now I will go ahead and update the cost benefit analysis. All right, so we're done with the entire stuff over here. So now I go to CBA analysis. Okay, and I click on edit. So as per the algorithm, it is easy. And for us also, this is like an easy process to be done. Right. Now, uh, we intend to start this by August. Okay. So uh, we would start this by 3rd of August. All right. Now, uh, analysis, we would just keep it one day. Okay. Uh, solution design also, uh, sorry, just solution design also goes for one day. Uh, development uh, likely to be completed within five business days. Okay, so uh, if we starting on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Tuesday, that's what I take it. And testing, I want to spend at least two days around it, and that's going to be my baseline. Uh, is that good, Mister? Or do you need anything? This yes. is going to be there for easy. Okay, all for all easy modes. Five days are perfect. Yeah. So this is where we have set the baseline. Perfect. Quickly, let's move on over here. Now, this is my baseline. And uh, yes, this is the first process that we're going to start with. So it's going to be similar. There's no change. So 3rd of August, 4th of August. Then this moves to 5th of August. This goes from 5th of August. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 11th of August, and this goes to 12th of August. Okay, so all good. Okay, now vendor, uh, it's going to be now, so we haven't got a vendor. Uh, this is something, uh, again, we don't have an option over here. Uh, robot working hours per day is going to be. Uh, I think it's just going to be 16 hours per day. Okay. Is what we are going to, oh, sorry, this is per day, huh? Per day, we just need four hours. Okay. So, uh, four hours and a robot working days uh, for a year. Uh, I think that is, that is, we mentioned earlier also, it is 365 days, but uh, to be uh, clear with the holidays and everything, I'm just putting it as maximum 300 days. Yeah. Uh, process volumetry. Okay. This is this is fine. Okay. Looks good because this is the this is the volume that we got earlier. Okay. Uh, okay. This is how it looks like. That's my timeline. And this is my baseline, all right? Baseline and actual and new estimate. I'm, I'm editing this because I need to go back, okay? Now, once this is done, uh, there are these volume splits. Now, this is human before automation and after automation, okay? Now, this is going to be when the robot is deployed, estimated after automation and final after automation. These are the estimates. So uh, at this moment, this looks good. I don't need to overwrite. I'm not getting into the cost factor. Okay, is because everybody would have a different 
uh, few towards costing so i don't want to get into that uh, cost estimates uh, again analysis okay uh, cost type not selecting that okay uh, allocation uh, we would like to allocate uh, 10 percent cycle time assignment days uh, i think we're taking one day and cost per day uh, this is in dollars okay so nisark uh, i think we should for sake perspective uh, but that field is grayed out i think yes is because we don't have we haven't put the cost thing up all right so uh, similar way this is this is how it is going to be like okay it's it, because we don't have this particular this particular thing that is selected people cost type okay so we're not getting into that uh, rpa software cost is also grayed out okay but uh, uh, because we don't have the vendor and all that is selected over here nor the license type selected over here okay uh, other software cost is going to be the same okay and uh, these fields would get uh, uh, you know uh, populated uh, as and when we deploy it in our own enterprise but the primary thing is having these numbers in place okay the volume and the actual and the ease of implementation uh, baselines also all right once this is in place uh, you can go ahead and save this once this is saved baseline is 79 percent automation potential new estimated this this much this is what the project plan is all right once this is done okay we are good with the entire analysis what do you miss sir thank you so much Ripa. so this is wonderful and we have completed cost benefit analysis within just quite a few minutes and this is a wonderful process which is as easy as you just have to select from the drop down now as Tripad has mentioned for the enterprise edition you would have access to all the other fields which will be editing the other software cost and all these things so you can go ahead and you can do that now we have completed our qualification phase and we have approved the qualification status where we have an easy baseline and ease of implementation also easy along with the project plan displayed in a diagram. So thank you so much for this knowledge Shripad and happy automation and see you guys in the next video. Thank you Shripad. Thank you.